Our solar system has existed for about 4.6 billion years, and during that time, it has changed and evolved almost constantly, but especially so during its early years. This does not mean, however, that in the past few million years, our solar system has achieved a status of perfect stability. In fact, that is far from the case. Earth, the Sun, and their neighbors will evolve and change on, and still evolve and change on a regular basis, and will do so for billions of years to come. But how will they change? That's what we're covering in today's video. But before we get into that, I would appreciate would like the video, subscribe to your channel, and hit the notification bell to stay tuned for future content. Okay, so what will happen? Well, for the next couple billion years, not a whole lot. Earth's oceans will boil off and life will die off. And Venus will become even more inhospitable, and Mars might, at might attain conditions suitable for microbial life to develop. In other news, Saturn's rings will disappear in 100 million years, Neptune's only real big moon will collide with it in about 3.5 billion years. And finally, there is a chance, I'll be very small, that Jupiter's gravitational influence will cause Mercury's orbit to get all screwed up in about 3 billion years. The whole time, the sun will slowly get hotter and brighter, which will in turn warm up the surrounding planets. This brightening is due to the fusion of hydrogen and helium in the core, which gradually speeds up over time. Currently, about half of that hydrogen supply has been exhausted, but there is still enough to keep the sun going for quite a while longer. Then, in about 5.4 billion years, that supply will run out. This, in turn, will end the sun's phase sequence phase, and will start the most drastic changes to the solar system in billions of years. The sun itself starts to cool down and expand, and while that process is slow at first, it speeds up over the next couple billion years. This is the sun's subgiant phase, where the sun is a few times bigger than it is today, a little cooler, and also a bit more luminous. During this period, Mars is receiving a similar amount of solar flux to the Earth today, meaning this is the period where conditions on Mars will likely be the most similar to Earth now. However, life is unlikely to progress super far due to the fact that Mars will still lack a magnetic field which makes the surface exposed to harmful radiation that will stop light from becoming intelligent without them developing some sort of resistance to it. Further out, the gas giants are a few degrees warmer, but nothing too big. Then, in about 7.5 billion years, the sun undergoes a period of extremely rapid expansion and cooling, and which begins the star's red giant phase. Current predictions show the sun expanding to become about 250 times bigger than its current radius, or about 1.2 astronomical units. For reference, an astronomical unit is the distance between the Earth and the Sun, or about 93 million miles, so the Sun will get pretty big. Uh, during this period, it will undergo intense mass loss that will have the effect of expanding the orbits of the planets. This creates a pretty uncertain future for Earth, which is right on the line of orbital expansion saves it, and the Sun's upper atmosphere will ex create enough drag to cause the Earth to get destroyed. Should that upper atmosphere extend far enough out, there's a chance even Mars could get destroyed. But the chances of that happening are pretty low. Meanwhile, Neptune, Pluto, and the Kuiper Belt will get warm enough to cause all that ice out there to melt and make liquid water, but life is unlikely to develop because the phase will only last a few hundred million years, and even then, there are likely to be huge temperature swings that correspond with the sun's rapidly fluctuating brightness and mass. It's interesting, though. If some of these asteroids out there are made of ice now, will they be entirely out of water in the future? I'm interested in seeing how that would work out. Unfortunately, this window of opportunity, as stated before, is slim. About 500 million years later, the sun will shed its outer layers and become a hot but dim white dwarf. Temperatures will rapidly plummet across the system, freezing any surviving planets. Over trillions of years, the sun will cool until it's a big, cold rock, and interactions with nearby stars will dislodge the remaining planets. By about 1 quadrillion years from now, all the planets will be gravitationally unbound from the sun, which itself is no longer generating any heat or light. Because of this, the solar system will effectively cease to exist. However, all of this will take billions of years to unfold. Even life on Earth isn't expected to struggle for another half a billion years or so. So relax. On the scale of a human lifetime, the solar system is perfectly stable. But until then, I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, I would appreciate it with like your video, subscribe to your channel, and hit the notification bell to stay tuned for future content.
Thanks and have a great day.